So if you're trying to get to your front oxygen sensor, sensor one, here's like, there's four of them and this is the absolute easiest one to get to. You just unplug it here and reach your wrench down in there and pull that out of there. But you might want to spray some anti-seize or some penetrating oil on it first. And I, when I pulled mine out, I managed to wrench on it and break it. So be very careful if you plan to reuse it. I bent mine all up and had to purchase another. But luckily it was uh, 90,000 miles on it already. So uh, it needed to be replaced anyway. So once you do this one, it's, it's uh, only downhill from there as you have to do the next ones. The other one is the top of it is right back in here in the engine and you have to kind of reach back in here and unplug it or you can reach up from the bottom and then if you turn your wheel well left you turn your wheels left you can reach it down in here but you also have to jack the car up to to get a good reach on it but this one right here you don't have to jack up jack it up at all and can reach it from either the top or the bottom pretty easy Well, if you're trying to reach your back cat on a 3.5 EcoBoost, what you do is turn your wheel to the left and it opens up this area. And So here's my old oxygen sensor. You can see it's bent here because I torqued it a little too much when I got it out with this huge torque wrench. But uh, you should definitely be very gentle when you take it out or just tap it a little or use the other methods shown in some videos I'll link below so that you don't damage it if you want to reuse this. I also tried cleaning it up a little but um, it's better just to replace them once you get to the recommended which is definitely 90,000 miles is a good time to replace it. <laughs> so here's my awesome tool for pulling out all of the oxygen sensors. You just get this Ox oxygen sensor tool on Amazon and then after that I have a bunch of gear witch winch strange name uh, extenders and items from three different sets to get it all to line up and uh, this lets me reach it from the top but I've got so much torque on this thing that <laughs> I totally jacked up the first one So here's the new one. I went with Bosch because supposedly if you buy the OEM Motorcraft, you end up with a Bosch anyway. And as you can tell, it looks pretty much very similar. So I think they are basically just selling Bosch oxygen sensors as Motorcraft from what I've read. But you can see the difference between how nice and clean it is without all the carbon. And I did try to clean it up quite a bit with some mass airflow cleaner but it's still pretty nasty so uh, you can also see where it's all bent up by me well that one's not bent up so another thing you'll need is some kind of anti-seize to put on the thread so that the next time somebody's getting it off you won't uh, it won't get all locked up so I'm using thread sealant high temperature and I can also link that as well but so you just put that on the threads and then make sure when you're putting this thing back on you don't over torque it or you'll or yank on that wrench too bad because you can see the damage I caused by being too aggressive. So I just reached my hand down in there I've got nice rubber gloves and reached my hand down in there and turned it uh, after putting the thread sealant on it and um, I just used this tool on its own to very gently tighten it up but otherwise you're supposed to tighten it up to some uh, pressure that I'm not sure about but I'm just going with hand tighten as a casual first time person and you have to make sure to twist 
the cable one direct it's going to be spinning around so you have to leave this side loose until the very end because it's all going to get the wires are going to get all twisted up so you have to sort of turn it one direction while turning the other to get it to even out or just let this or fix it all at the very end but you don't want to just keep twisting this until the wires get damaged So if you're doing the lower one, then here is the lower one. There's where it's connected. You can use the oil filter as your or oil drain pan as your guide. And then it goes up here. Here is the front cat on the 3.5 EcoBoost. And then back here behind it is the second cat. And you can see there is the oxygen sensor downstream on both of them downstream means the second if you don't know and you can you just have to jack the car up to reach those just a little bit easier but also it's recommended to spray some anti-seize uh, I've got some like liquid wrench that I'm trying to put on there but the spray can is much better that I don't have and then you can loosen those up and swap those as well. So I tested my cats using a high pressure test kit. It was quite involved, but what you do is you pull out your number one oxygen sensor and then put in this test kit with the pressure gauge and then run the car. And then on the dial itself, it shows you if the cats are still good or not. And Using that testing kit, the cats came out to be good, so I'm guessing issues with my truck are caused by all these oxygen sensors. The The downstream two ones underneath here are looking pretty ancient, and they might be from 90,000 miles ago, as far as I know, so I think that might be my issue. 